Good morning, VC Vinyl Community. It's Trevor back with another flat round and spun. Uh, gonna do a vinyl finds from our adventures at Purchase Street Records in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Yes, we made it there finally. It was awesome. Even more awesome was the company I had. Um, Flew in from Seattle, got into Logan Airport in Boston. My buddy, my brother, Anthony, we all know him, Gambler812, picked me up. Um, and we were just saying that, you know, it's surreal that we're in the same car together and going through Boston traffic. Yeah, <laughs> I thought Seattle traffic was bad doesn't hold a candle but uh anyway we got back to anthony's pad i got to see the cave um which is also in mgk boston's friday night cheers video i will link that in the description so you can check out the layer that anthony does his videos at but uh after hanging out a little bit getting some coffee Went and picked up, um, we got Marsha P first at her hotel. Uh, good to hang out with a fellow Michigander, ex-Michigander. Well, you're always a Michigander once you're, you know, grow up there. Um, and got to see her in person, you know, my live stream pal. Um, and then we went and got Alex from Beer and Vinyl. We all know and love. And then we uh, buoyed on down to New Bedford, uh, which was a good, I don't know, about hour and a half drive. Um, but yeah, we got there and met up with uh, Jack Vinyl Martini, another West Coaster from Victoria, BC, and Brian Embryonic Robot from Toronto. We all met up at Purchase Street, got to meet Roger from Purchase Street, the owner, and man, if you're into metal, if you're into punk, hardcore, uh, a little bit of a good section rap there, and some classic rock uh, sprinkled in there, this store's for you. If you're in the area, or if you just, uh, you know, having a long weekend, in, or just a weekend in Boston, boogie on down, man down to Purchase Street. Roger is the best. Um, but uh, I'm going to show off what I got. Well, first off, Roger hooked us up with some shirts. Very cool. Purchase Street Records and the shock. Watch out for the shocks. Good stuff. Love the coloring. Very cool. Pops right out. But first, speaking of Roger, his band, All Sinners, uh, live at the Whiskey Go Go in Los Angeles. Very cool stuff. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, six songs on here: Rise Up, Dead to the Dead to Rights, Buried Alive, Into the Flames, Believer, The Hunted. I have heard this. It's cool stuff. Looking forward to listening to us. Thank you, Roger, for that. Next up, uh, a pair of our favorite. Brazilian metalheads from 1991 Sepultura Arise um, fortunate enough to see these guys on this tour uh, they were the first of a three band bill Sepultura of course then Helmet and Ministry this was back in 1992 I got to see it but um, cool stuff this is I feel Sepultura especially around this time in the the album before they were kind of that crossover of thrash and death metal so good stuff there love this album arise next was their follow-up from 1993 and that is chaos ad probably the one that got them really popular after this um this has bonus tracks as does the Arise. This uh, 
has uh, some B-sides and some live stuff on it. I love the track uh, Chaos BC, which is a remix of Refuse Resist. Very cool stuff. I remember hearing that at a club back in Detroit. You know, metal to dance to. Marsha hooked me up and found for me one of my grails. Every time someone goes to a record show or, or hey, we're going to a record store, anyone looking for anything, and I always say this album from 1987, one of my favorite soundtracks in the world, and that is the soundtrack to Less Than Zero. Josh, JC, look at that hype sticker. Hell yeah. Finally got it on vinyl. I've had this on cassette when I first got it in 87 and uh, had on CD after that, but never had on vinyl. So very happy to have it. Classic stuff here. Aerosmith doing uh, Rockin' Pneumonia and Boogie Woogie Flu. Roy Orbison, Life Fades Away, written by Glenn Danzig. Uh, Poison Rock and Roll All Night. Eh. Hello, Cool J. Everyone knows the song Going Back to Cali. Speaking of Glenn Danzig, Glenn Danzig and the Power and Fury Orchestra. This was that weird in between Sam Hain and the band Danzig. It sounds almost like a Roy Orbison type song, but it's really, really cool. Love it. The reason why I got the Less Than Zero soundtrack in the first place Slayer's cover of Indigo de Vida. This is the first time I ever heard Public Enemy, Bring the Noise. Uh, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, uh, She Lost You, which is great. I do love the ballad. Uh, Orin, Juice Jones, um, How to Love Again, great song. And then the one big hit off of this album, Hazy Shade of Winter from the Bangles. So, less than zero. Thank you, Marsha, for finding this for me. Uh, another one I've been looking for for a long time. Uh, kind of a local band back in uh, back home in Washington, but this is one. This is the album I first discovered the band with, and that is "The Warning" by Queensrÿche, 1984. Where we're hearing "Take Hold of the Flame." Back then, uh, I was neck deep in the Maiden at the time, and I thought they kind of sounded similar. But these guys are a little bit more progressive. But uh, yeah, uh, this is a few years before they got popular with the silent lucidity stuff but this is just a great classic album um just traditional heavy metal stuff awesome glad they have it in the collection the warning warning by queensrake back to danzig got the debut 1988 um this one sleeves open Got colored vinyl here. Ooh. Uh, the one thing that's weird though, I do notice Deaf American Recordings sleeve with the lyrics. Um, oh, can I show the gatefold? Hey guys. Um, there's a strong rumor going around that a lot of these reissues, represses, unofficial, or yeah, as, as unofficial presses of. Danzig's early catalog on Deaf American and uh, like the, the Sam Hain catalog. The rumor is that Glenn himself's doing it, which is cool. Hey, I, hey, cut out the middleman. I I totally see it. I'm I was just surprised to see the Deaf American print on there. So I I don't know. Uh, in the comments, if you guys know anything about it, let me know if he's able to do that stuff. But cool classic album mother everyone knows that one twisted cane classic um a band i i always liked but really got into them with their last album from 2019 the sound of scars uh this is their debut this is life of agony river runs red probably the, the most classic of their catalog um new york guys uh, lumped into hardcore the new york hardcore scene which is not uh it's correct but uh they have a lot of just hard rock melodies on their albums and if you were ever 
wanting to get into New York hardcore and not sure I would actually kind of start with this because you could ease into it it's uh, easily digestible I'm not saying it's like um, watered down or anything but uh, it's got melody to it so if you like this and then you could kind of explore from there but uh, yeah I remember hearing these guys back in the day I never owned this album actually I've, I've heard it many times but uh, through and through was the first song I heard from this uh, this time classic the opener on this thing very cool stuff river runs red life of agony this one i missed out when it came out and it was, it was pricey but i you know it, at the time it was really pricey but i was able to find it uh favorite ba or favorite band favorite album from this band uh 1995 demanufactured from fear factory classic uh they were kind of death metal, but with a lot of industrial added into it. Um, this is easily my favorite album from them. Very cool stuff. Replica was the big hit off this, but there's so much other cool stuff on here. Uh, it's got a bonus uh, disc on here, uh, live from OzFest 1996 when they were still touring this album. Lots of cool stuff on here, so. Fear Factory, D Manufacturer, Heavy Triple Disc, and finally, the one album that surprised me so much. Um, I My original intent was I'm like, okay, I'm going to look for Apocalyptic Raids from Hellhammer. So I go over to the H's in the metal section, and I'm flipping through it, and of course, with it being metal, there's lots of bands with hell in the name. And I stumbled across this one album that is missing, no longer missing, but was missing from my collection because I have everything else. And that is the debut from my buddies in Hellmouth back home in Detroit. I've been looking for this album for a long time, very hard to find. Uh, my good friend Jeff there, even though it's got a skull face over it. But uh, yeah, I was so absolutely over the moon when I saw this very cool stuff um, just glad to have it now now my collection is complete with Hellmouth so ecstatic so again Roger thank you for being such an awesome host if you happen to see this video uh, incredible store I encourage anyone who's in the Boston area to get on down there check it out i know it's uh, a bit of a drive but it's a beautiful drive it's on this little island which is kind of cool you know lots of uh um, marinas around and boats and all kinds of stuff and it was a gorgeous day so it was just a beautiful view um and then of course i gotta thank my the company i was with fantastic people um in a few hours as a matter of fact uh getting together at uh with uh mgk boston who also came out with us last night to Anthony's house after we got done at Purchase Street. Uh, MGK Boston, Mike, um, he's hosting the big VC soiree. Um, more people that I didn't even get to meet yesterday are coming over. So it is going to be one huge love fest that day, today. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, looking forward to meeting his wife, Patty. I'm looking forward to meeting his cat, Colton, the infamous Colton. Um, if I'm lucky, I might get scratched by him. So, um, having a great time here. Uh, I'm in Natick, Natick, Massachusetts. Um, just a great time. So, uh, I'm sure you'll probably see photos or other video stuff from today I'm, I'm gonna try to get some I tried getting something yesterday and it just didn't come together so um, anyway it's been a great day here yesterday and then today is just gonna be off the charts so anyway final community thank you for indulging me and talking about some stuff I picked up I normally don't do hauls like that ever if you know me I only pick up a record or two at a time uh, weeks apart so I mean I knew I was gonna be spending this weekend so obviously saved up for it um, but yeah it's been a great time so anyway 
everyone have a great weekend and uh we will talk to you later see ya oh camera's over that way see ya <laughs>